The first question has to do with mental health. In one word, would you describe the North Carolina mental health system and also what solution do you propose for the debunked mental health system in North Carolina? Mr. Montauk, do the first. Chaos. I happen to be a psychologist, our state legislators, and this is a state issue, not a national issue, to the extent that your congressman's going to have a limited ability to impact on that. Our state legislators should be ashamed for what they have, not allowed to happen, for what they may happen. The rest of us should be ashamed because we did not hold them accountable. They're starting to fix it, but ever so slowly. It's been in chaos for five years. We've lost a tremendous number, a tremendous number of people due to that chaos. Three things. We have one of the weakest court systems in America. We have a dismantled mental health system. We have a lack of accountability at the state level. That's a recipe for chaos. You could be the biggest drug kingpin in North Carolina and not in, excuse me, in America and not create a better system to undermine our culture. We hope need to hold our state people accountable. I'll try to do that within the limits of my power as your congressman. Thank you. How about disgraceful? Like a lot of other things that's, that have gone on in the government of the state under the Democratic leadership. And I agree with Carl. As a congressman, we're limited in what we would be able to do to resolve this issue. But as a citizen of the state, I just have to shake my head in wonderment at, at what the state thinks uh, people are all about in North Carolina when they create a system that has no ability to deal with one of the most serious issues facing the citizens of the state and of this district, and that's mental health. There's a common theme that runs through what I talk about, and, and, it, and mental health is included, and that is that our society is being attacked by those who would, would, who would want us to ignore what makes America great. The heart and soul of America is our morality and our families. It is the family that takes, um, where, where teaching kids takes place, where making them good citizens takes place, where getting them grounded before they go out into the world takes place, and we want to eliminate that. Some of us do. And it, and it has an effect on every aspect of our society, including mental health, because those folks can't deal with life because they didn't come from the right kind of place to begin with. So if we keep that in mind, if that theme runs throughout everything that I believe we need to address this conversation. You ask for one word, the word I think is the same. Uh, it is correct that it is a state issue. A uh, dear friend of mine who's going on 80s been observing politics all his life told me that congressmen are like cockroaches. The problem is not what they eat and carry away, it's what they fall into and mess up. And the simple fact is state legislators, when they get headed in the wrong direction, make the same sort of mistake. The great reform in medical health care was to put people back out in the streets, in, in the community, and then not watch them. Well, what happens? People get stabbed to death. That periodically happens. One of these people was on the street. Uh, the last one I read about was three days ago, and it is filed. It said, never let this man out. He'll kill somebody. And they let him out and he killed somebody. So it is not just a matter of wasted money. It's not just a matter of not treating people properly. It is a life and death issue. But it is a state issue. Now, the Congress deals with life and death issues that are federal. And they, on occasion, mess things up just as badly as mental health. So I would say keep an eye on that and see whether you have some people that want to do good but have no clues to the consequences of what they do. That's where the errors come in.